all right so what is going on today youtube i will be showing you guys some ill vice zombie synchro replays that i did accumulate over the past day because i have been playing this deck and oh my god i i, I went off i did go off on this deck so yeah this is the gozuki version because uh, this is the latest one i pretty much build and this is will probably be my last time actually playing this deck um until you guys like request it or something like that or unless i do like a, a, a dual replay video like a massive one where it's just some music and stuff like that i don't think i did one in a couple of weeks i'm probably going to do that um after this you know probably uh probably like uh, over the weekend probably monday or something i would you know put that out and stuff like that but yeah the only changes i really made to the deck since the last video which was just at a trishler which is um I guess uh, it, it is pretty good, even though I never got not, not it, it is pretty good. Trishler is, a, you know, a terrific card, but I never got to summon it. But um, I did put it in had like halfway through the duels. And I'm like, fuck, I need it. I need something to go into because Big Eye never came up because it was never, you know, it was never a point where I needed Big Eye or, you know, anytime I did have two level seven, Draco Sack was the better option. So I just cut Big Eye and put in Trish because there's a lot of times where it's like I'm left with stuff. That I can make a Trish with, but I just didn't have Trish or a level 9 to go into. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's the reason why Trish is in there. So, yeah. Um, also, I did get a new mic today. So, hopefully, this is making a big difference. And I know you guys are going to hear me, like, my mouth smack. Because for some odd reason, when I talk, it, it's just a lot of water in there. But that is uh, not a water, but saliva. You guys didn't need to know that. Don't know why I said it. So, this, this is etched that part out. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, as of, uh, I don't know really what else I was going to say. I, for I forgot what, exactly what I was going to say. I just got distracted. But yeah, as you can see, you know, the deck really hasn't changed. Scapegoat is just amazing as usual. Coral Dragon is amazing as usual. Um, we're going to just wait for a few minutes because I don't know when I, I, comp I stopped recording because this is going to be a voiceover of a, of a already commentary uh, video that I already put up because not put up, but I already recorded commentary over this but something I, I don't know i just i don't know what happened to the audio something happened but yeah i did get a new mic so hope you guys do enjoy this hopefully it does sound better let me know in the comments below what you think of the mic doesn't make a difference does it st sound the same i actually got scared when i first plugged it in because it did not work so yeah um as always like comment and subscribe uh click an ad to help support the channel which would be very helpful I upload a minimum of three days a week so you guys do have something to look forward to throughout the week and stuff like that and <clears throat> yeah without further ado let's go and get straight into the duel and as you can see i did open up with a sage with a ddr so right here i'm thinking and a gozuki so right here i'm thinking all right how can i use gozuki's effect to pretty much make my field better and um like ha like when i first when i started doing the combo i was like all right i'm not going to use gozuki but then I looked at the field and I'm like, all right, I can make power to a dragon. I believe I end with a Draco sack here. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I believe I end with a Draco sack here. Um, so right now I'm just looking at his hand because like when, when he went, when he went on his turn, I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's the deck you wanted to use. So here you go. I go use Mizuki. That I believe get back goes Gozuki because Gozuki can once again send Mizuki, and I know that was. That was a lot of Zookies in, in one little, you know, little, little uh, I guess, ten, I don't know. I don't know what you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, so here we go. Go into Power to a Dragon. Use Gozuki's effect to banish the Unizombie because I'm going to search DDR to use it to get the Unizombie back. So we can once again go into another Power Tool and then we can, you know, go into the Draco Sack. Use Power Tool's effect. Hopefully get a DDR. But nope, we got a Super Vice. But you know what? It's okay. It's a, it's a pretty decent card to go into. And here he goes with his plays. Activate the Omega. Don't really need to do that. And he goes Thousand Eyes of Tricks. I'm thinking it's a level one deck that he's actually playing. But um, I looked through the deck because I did want to see if he was playing Theseus. But he is not. He is playing Double Sovereign Saga, though. So he goes into Restrict. And I'm thinking right here he's playing some uh, one star deck. I actually thought it was that deck that, um, what is it, the Lyrical Lucinias that they do with Tyrant Neptune and shit like that. I thought it was that. So. He goes summon Sage. I'm like, all right, what the hell is he going into? And I'm thinking right here he's going to go to Zoken. But he actually goes into a Sovereign Saga. And he forgets, like, I forgot, you know, that you can't um, attack with anything but Restrict. So he kind of pretty much messed that up. And as you can see, my field is pretty much primed to rip his apart. So 
at the end phase, Restrict is going to die. My turn, going to get the Omega back. Use the Draco Sack to pop the back row because, um, you know, popping back row is good. And he used Solemn Strike, but as you guys probably already know, Draco Sack does not die if you use, if you try to destroy it while, why a token, not even a, not a Draco Sack token, but as a, when a token's on the field. So if, if I use Scapegoat or something, it won't die. So here we go, going to a Core Dragon, baiting out his, uh, what's the name, baiting out uh, Sovereign Saga's protection. So right now I can just do whatever I want. Get two more three-star tokens, which is just so amazing in this goddamn deck to go into a Tazoken. Here you go, get a free draw, drawn to the Ill Blood, which was just uh, uh, icing on the cake. Accidentally set before I summoned Tazoken, so... I'm like, that was just terrible. But we end up getting it off anyways. And as you can see, Crystal Wing is going to pretty much make this game. And we have won. So, yeah, that was pretty good showing of the Ill Blood deck. And here we go with um, game two. Game number two, as you can see, my hand. I'm pretty much open up pretty good. Um, <clears throat> not even pretty good. That was just fucking pretty great. So here we go. I send Ill Blood. Then I believe I use Maz Do I use what's the name's effect? No, I go Ill Blood. Okay, yeah, there you go. All right, so I use um, Unizombie to get the one star in the grave because that's important with the combo. And as you can see, I've made Ill Blood level seven. So I'm going to a power to a dragon, get a free supervise, supervise, get this back. And now we can go into an Omega. Omega is going to give me back Ill Blood. Then I can spark, and then I can go to the Sparkville to get um, Ill Blood's effect again. So we can go to another power tool and we search a DR, which is just for next turn. Use the Draco Sack, get two tokens. Um, that Draco Sack is really becoming one of my favorite cards to actually have in this deck, just because it, like his effect is just so good. But yeah, we're gonna put the Mizuki back and stuff like that. He's gonna attack with Kari Bandit. I don't know what deck he was playing. It was just some trap deck with something going on. I don't, I don't understand it. So, excuse me, I had to burp right there. Got the Omega back using Draco Sack, and pretty much from here is just you can just literally do whatever you want to do. Um, that's pretty much what I was doing. I was seeing what else I can do, but with the timer going on on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, you just gotta hurry up and do your plays. So I end up going into Scarlight because I was like, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not going to play around because I don't know what the hell he's playing. He might have some random deck that ends up beating me. So yeah, that was that. I'm um, going on, I believe, Duel 3. And then as you can see, I open up Scapegoat and Twin Twister, which is pretty good because Scape, I told you, man, tokens in this deck is just so goddamn good. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, here we go. We get four tokens and I'm about to do the Power Tool combo that I told you guys about. Um, because I do, I do into a unit zombie, but didn't even have to use the normal summon. Use foolish to get the sage in the graveyard because putting that in the graveyard early is really good. And then we're going to use unit zombie to send Mizuki, go on a coral dragon, coral dragon and a token, go on a power tool. Bam. You see how that one, one token is left. That's how like most of the time you can go into Trish because you do have that extra token that's just left on the field that you can't really do anything with. So yeah, that is a. Uh, that is, that's why I added Trish because it's good. And here, I thought I was going to be able to go for game because I thought I had an extra special summon, but I, I didn't because um I, 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 I don't know. Like, I had two Mizukis, but I thought I still had two Mizukis. That's why I was doing this play and I stopped like halfway through because as you can see, I go into Sorvin Saga and that's 35 plus 21, which is what, 40, 35 and 21 is 46. So that's 46 already, no wait, 56, 56 dead. I mean, 56 damage already hit out of his field and he ends up quitting before I even get to attack. But yeah, I also do want to add like United We Stand or something just so I can go for game. <laughs> like that is so, that would be so fun, but I really do want to add it. So when I do play it, I'm going to add and see how it goes. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we won that duel. And as you can see, it started off with a solitaire and a scapegoat. And when he summons this, I really get scared because I'm thinking, fuck, if he goes into that fusion card that pierces, I can't even activate my scapegoats. And, uh, gear, I mean, ancient gears really just kill you at any time. So here he goes. You activate the fusion effect, uh, hit a monster. So I'm feeling pretty good. He goes into that in defense. I'm like, all right, he goes to end his main phase, but I thought it was ending his end phase. It's the only reason why I had to escape go. So I got scared. I'm like, fuck, he's going to go into something and kill me. But he ends his turn. So that is a good thing. And, you know, like I said, like the last combo, like the last combo I just did, bam, we're just going to pretty much uh, go into a free, um, what's a free part, not a free power tool, but a power tool that gets us an extra card. And this is where United We Stand can come in actually handy, man. Like, 
even though we probably were not going to get it both the time. Like, if we just get United, we stand, we can really, like, go off on our opponent and just, like, put too, so much damn damage on board. But look, bam, I can Trish right there. But we're going to just use the uh, Ill Blood Super Vice combo. Bam, get another Super Vice. Use the Super Vice. Once again, go into a one star. Go into Crystal Beam because I do want to negate the effect. I don't, I don't, I didn't want to give him any chance to do anything. And then as soon as I went to Crystal Wing, he negate. I mean, he ended, he, not ended his turn. He fucking ended the duel by surrendering. So, yeah. Um, here we go. Going up against Wind Witches and Magic Specters. And right here, I'm like, all right, let's see what I can do. Because I do have the scapegoat spark field with a Super Vice. So, what I'm going to do is pretty much set up for next turn, but with the scapegoat and the sage and stuff like that, because um, Omega is going to put the Mizuki back, and I, I can Black Rose, or I can, you know, do my Coral Dragon play, and then search the, uh, <clears throat> hopefully search Ill Blood to do all this play. So he summons that, I'm thinking it's a bad hand. Then he activates Ties of the Brethren, and I'm like, what the hell can you pair with this? And then he summons the Magic Specters, and I just I just instantly get upset. I'm like, God damn it, I don't want to play against Magic Specters. It's bad enough that you're playing Wind Witches. Now I got to play against Magic Specters? That is just ridiculous. So he ends up, uh, no, actually, I end up using Omega and Banish the Dimensional Barrier, and I get four tokens. So I'm thinking here, here's what I messed up. I easily could have just Black Rose his field and just never cared about it because he's only at 6,000 left. So... <clears throat> here I could have just black rose because I you know I have the enough tokens but I did it I wanted to get extra extra value by going coral and then you know I get punished for it and he so he uses tornado to banish my coral but it's okay it actually works out for me because he did do that so here we go we're going to get the goblin zombie back and then we're going to summon uh <clears throat> sage use sage to get the two star and then black rose him with this because you know we still have two more tokens so I'm like, if he stops this, then I mean, I'm just probably going to try to trish him or something like that because we get a Goblin Zombie search and Ill Blood with Spark Build and Super Vice, you know, we can just do everything, everything we want. So bam, do that. And as you can see, we're about to put up some damage on this board and we're going to hit with 64 because uh, Shogun Saga is so goddamn good. I really wish we can play too, but we can't. So still a good card though. So here we go again. Uh, with another duel, and we opened up a nice subpar hand. I was th tempted to set the scapegoats, but like I said, setting scapegoats it just never it doesn't resolve as much as you want it to resolve. So I don't think it's a good idea to set that card. That's why I did, you know, reduce it to one and then put in scapegoat just to get the effect because I really like the effect, but it's just it just never never gets the effect off. So as you can see, I'm playing against magician pendulums, and uh, if you guys have been watching for any amount of time, you know I hate pendulums and definitely magicians. But I do have double twin twister, so that pretty much wrecks this deck because he can't really do anything. So I use it in draw phase because I knew he searched the trap, so I didn't want him to get rid of my omega. And here we go. I'm about to go for game, and then I realize that that destroys. If uh, excuse me, I don't know why I'm so gassy. I mean, not gassy, but I'm just always trying to burp. But uh, yeah, that card pops when it gets destroyed because why not? Because pendulums get everything they need. They get searching, they get pendulum summons, they get fusions, they get secros, they get fucking exceeds. They just do everything they want. So here we go. I'm just setting up for next play because I'm like, all right, if he, I'm thinking he has a tune. I know he has dark hole, but I'm thinking he has a pendulum in his hand because all he needs, pretty much in my head, I was thinking all he needs is another pendulum. And if I miss with Omega, I'll just lose. So. He sets a card. I'm like, all right, so I'm good. I mean, as far as I know, I'm good. He All he needed was one pendulum. He would have beat me. But he didn't, so I'm glad. I'm happy. Fuck pendulums. Fuck magicians. All of that. I'm just I'm just glad about that. So <clears throat> here we go. This is the last duel of the video. or well, last duel with Illvice because I am going to show you guys the next deck I will be playing for next week. Um, but yeah, as you can see, my opponent is going off. So I'm thinking, God damn, this is some damn Yang Zing deck. Metal, not Yang Zing Metal Force, but the Yang Zing Zephyr deck. I'm like, I'm about to get my shit just beat in. He just goes Omega and ends his turn with a Coral Dragon. I'm like, what is that? So I look at my hand. I was like, fuck, we don't have any tuners. We can't really do anything. Then it shines in my it shines in my head that, man, we can go Sark to two, summon Gozuki, and Gozuki's effect is just so good. Bam, send that. When Gozuki dies, it's going to banish that special summon the Goblin Zombie, as you can see. That's going to trigger getting me the two-star back. Bam, going to Coral Dragon. So now you guys get to see everything I'm finna do. I'm just finna pretty much just I mean, just pretty much in with a border. It's just 
So good. Power tool, making Coral Dragon level 7, which is good already. So now we have Zodokan access by using the power tool. Um, get the Goblin Zombie back and use Sage to tribute the Goblin Zombie, which is just such an underrated play. Get another power tool, search the DDR, go into the Zodokan, draw a card, set, bam, drew into a Ghost Arc. So now I can banish the Ill Blood. Mm mm. All these delicious combos. So now we can go double Omega because we did discard the Goblin Zombie. Uh, not the Goblin Zombie, the Mizuki with the DDR, and we had a Super Vice. So that gets the Ill Blood back. Bam, going to double. What's the name? So now we end our board with Omega, Crystal Wing, um, and an Omega getting banished. And next turn, we do have the two star loaded up for next turn. So we can go into it. Archfiend. So that means we can go into uh, Scarlight or any level eight we really wanted to go into. Here you go. So I'm thinking he's going to use Crystal Wing. Coral Dragon's effect to target Crystal Wing because that would have just been a good play. Because if he would have did that, then he would have forced my Crystal Wing and got a draw. So that could have been good. But he actually just used Guitar's effect. I'm like, um, I, I don't I don't know why he did that. The other play was way better because you you know you still had something in your hand and he could have did something. But I go into that and he pretty much uh scoops it up. So yeah, that is it for ill vice. So while we wait for the next deck, um <clears throat> this let me know what you guys do want me to play. Leave it in the comments below and all that. So here we go. We're going to start with the uh, next deck. And as you can see, this is the red. This is not the red resonator. I keep saying that. The red resonator. No, this is the resonator deck that I was talking about um, a couple of videos ago. I told you guys I was working on the red resonator deck. And yeah, this is one of the duels that I kept when I was playing it. I mean, this deck is just. This deck is stupid, especially with Level Eater, which is I really hope gets banned because Level Eater on Coral Dragon is just ridiculous. Coral Dragon is really becoming like one of my favorite synchros, like right behind all, like right behind. I don't know, it, it's top five though. It is top five because this I really love that card. I really, I'm really kicking myself that I wasn't playing it earlier. I really should have been playing it a lot, a lot, a lot sooner. I just I don't know what took me so long. But as you can see, I'm just now I'm just doing everything I can. I do whatever I want. Um, use Resonator's effect to gain 2400. Level eat that. Make it level 5 so we can go into Tzokin. But Tzokin's a special summon so we don't get a draw. Use the Zombie World, which I love, to get the Stardust Charge Warrior back. Go into an Omega. Use your Omega. Get an extra draw. Set. Get the Crystal Wing. A, a Resonator Call to get the 1 star to go into a Clear Wing, which is just um, <clears throat> what's, what we're going to end up with. It's a Clear Wing, uh, a Crystal Wing. And a level eater in the fence. And as you can see, add the red resonator back. So next turn, we're going to just keep going off on our opponent. And as you can see, he's playing True King True King Zodiac, which I, I don't know about you guys, but that is right up there with like Yang Zing Zephyrus uh, or Yang Zing Metal Falls. Like I, I hate this deck. Like I always lose to this damn deck. Not the Zodiac part, but the damn True Kings. There's just so... Actually, the deck I really hate is the True Kings with the damn Dinos because I just get my shit beat in all the time. Every time I play that deck, I get my shit beat in. But as you can see, uh, he goes into the Zodiac stuff and all that, and he gets negated by Crystal Wing. So I'm thinking, all right, only only thing left he can go into is a Drantia, and Drantia can't target anything on my board because they'll just get negated by Clear Wing. So um, he summons any of these Dracos. I mean, I don't know what you can really do. He can go VFG, but he doesn't end up going to anything. So, yeah, that is it for today. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on uh, what I should play or what do you guys want me to play, I know somebody suggests, IDK32 did suggest a like a fun deck idea with Gap, the Divine Soldier, and um, Zombie World because it's a unique effect and stuff like that. Hold on. So we're definitely going to be trying to build something like that. Or if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, of any unique effects that just like uh, you can, I can use use it with zombies, like because the zombie world, and I could just special summon it for free. So if any unique effects and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think about the deck. Uh, think about the Ilvice deck. Do you guys want to see another video of that and all that? So you know, I ain't gonna really tell y'all what to do. So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow will be another video of Fortune Ladies with Lawn Mooring. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that. And that is it for today. I am out.